When you think about unidentified remains, finding out who that individual is is a big step towards finding out what happened to them. Maybe finding out who killed them because this, you know, this stranger danger is, is way overblown. Most of the time people are killed by individuals who know them or who they're associated with. So if you find out who a person is, sometimes then you can find out, I mean not me personally, but law enforcement then has a name that they can start looking into what may have happened to that person. So I think what really compels me is how my work um, can help society. I think that's very important. It's a good feeling, even though they're tragic situations. Right now, the main focus of my uh, research, in addition to individual forensic cases, are um, long-term cases uh, where we don't know who individuals are. And I have about 35 cases in Ohio in my care that are um, people who we don't, we don't know who they are, unidentified remains. So I'll be talking about some of the methods that we use for identification, some of the new techniques that have come about and hopefully get people involved in that because it really is an effort for the whole community to get involved in the missing and unidentified persons problems.